How's it going everyone? Supremacist here and just really quickly before the video actually begins I have a quick disclosure to talk to you guys about about one or two of the weapons actually in this gameplay I'm going to show you each and every single category of which weapon is the best in that category That means the snipers, the LMGs, the SMGs, the assault rifles, etc. So basically, just really quickly before the video begins the SMGs and the LMGs are actually not shown where they are, um, their whereabouts in this video. So if you guys do go on to watch this video, it's suspecting that that's the one or they're the type of weapons that you guys use and they're the type of ones you want to find around the map. So yeah, that's, they're the only two weapons you actually have to worry about. Every other weapon is shown in this video. So yeah, if you guys do go on to enjoy this video, please hit that subscribe button. It'd be greatly appreciated and I'll see you guys. Alright guys, starting off the clip, I'm actually going to be using the Assault Rifle Assault Rifles first. Um, the first gun we're going to be looking at is the TAR-21 and the only gun because I'm showing you guys which is the best guns of which um, which which uh, category of weapons. Now, I'm just using the base gun here. I'm not putting any attachments on it to show you guys how good it actually is. Now, I'm just going to let the clip roll through. This is actually a heavy right here if you guys can't tell. I killed him. I killed him in about um about I'd say about three bullets there. Um, hip fire is also really good too. You saw it just there. Now customizing the gun, you can honestly make this gun so accurate. It really doesn't move. Like it really just depends on what you put on the gun and what you want to run on it. Obviously, at certain times with certain things and certain unlocks you guys have for different characters, you can really turn this gun into an absolute machine. Like it is really so accurate. As you can see right now, you can see the accuracy on it. That's that that and with just a just a simple compensator and putting the version two on it, it makes it even better. Now, you will see in the next clip how, how easy it is to run around with actually um, with this gun, whether it's suppressed or not. Um, I didn't have the suppressor on this clip here with it, but um, coming up to the next clip and you guys will see this in slow motion and how much of a beast it actually is. Alright guys, looking at the next weapon, um, I'm actually going to be showing you guys the MSR Sniper. You can find this weapon in uh, Montioc, I think it is, as you can see on screen right now. Now, this is an absolute monster. The reason why I say this is because of how, how high damage it is on this weapon, and then the amount of time it takes to clock it back and be able to shoot again is insane. Now, obviously, at this range here, at about 50 to 100 meters away, shooting a heavy in the chest is a one-hit kill. This is really useful because most of your engagements isn't actually going to be too far away unless you snipe very far away from the objective or where you need to get in if you're the designated sniper of your team or whatever you may be. But being able to hit heavies with a one-hit bullet straight to the chest with a sniper rifle that's suppressed is honestly just such a monster. Now, as you can see in this clip, I missed my second shot, as you can see I will get the first guy here, and then I get the two patrol guards straight to his right, um, but I will miss the second guy only because of my accuracy, but if you time that right, you have enough time to be able to hit them. Now moving on to the next gun, I'm actually going to be showing you guys the Spaz 12. Now, looking at the Spaz-12, this is actually the location. It's actually located in La Croix, if you're looking at it from Itacuas, the right side. Um, this is the base you'll find it in. It's basically central of the base. Um, this is actually a unit ad base, so there's obviously going to be guards around, guarding it, etc. But it's actually really easy, just really easy. Just take out the three guards that are in the way, take him out, and there you go. And like I said at the start of the video, I'm only using the weapon as the stock version, one only because I literally just picked it up as I recorded this clip here, um, but this thing is an absolute monster, like it really, it really is just an absolute monster for range and, and fire rate and everything. This is a heavy sitting down as you can see by the icon above his head, um, one hit straight to the chest, there you go, easy kill. Now it has 5 bullets in the clip, you can put 8 bullets in it, I think you can put 8 to 10 bullets in it, I'm not too sure. You can obviously equip, uh, you can obviously equip suppressors on it, compensators etc, giving it even more range than it already has and even more higher damage and rate of fire than it has too. Now I'm actually, 
I actually don't know if you can give it more rate of fire, but the rate of fire on this thing is absolutely insane. Now, in saying this, as you can see, this kill right here, this is a shotgun killing a heavy. Now, I shot him once, as you can see by the hit marker there. I shoot him two more times at that range, and it kills him. So, three bullets at a, at a range about, I don't know, 20 meters away, I'd say. That clip was just there. At 20 meters away with a shotgun, the Spaz-12 is an absolute monster, and this is only the stock version of it. Now... Yeah, this is why, like I said, the rate of fire on it is honestly just a monster. I had two people come up on me here. I could have hit them if my accuracy was better with it, but obviously, I'm terrible at this game. And as you can see right here, it just comes in my favor. Now, this isn't the only thing about a Spaz-12 that I like. Now, keep in mind that I don't have the perk of vehicle destruction. This is literally just the gun, the Spaz-12 alone. It, it takes three clips of five bullets, so it's, it takes 15 bullets for you to take down an armored vehicle to blow it up. I'd say about 15, I'd say about 18 bullets, sorry, not not 15, so 18 bullets, and then there you go, the, the truck's destroyed, easy done. So yeah, that's the Spaz 12. Now, last but not least is actually pistols. Now, speaking of pistols, the this is the 5.7 the 5.7, you know, like I like to call it, so basically you'll find it in Okora, I think that says, and then there's like a little inverted point just here, um, this is the base you'll find it in, so if you just go on searching around, there's like two little huts you can see, and then you walk into one of the buildings, and there it is, now, this is me actually sniping a sniper with the pistol from, I mean, about, I'd say 150 meters plus, now, this is honestly one of the biggest snipes I've had in this game. Now, the 5.7 is really such like it's 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 such a good weapon, it's a good pistol to use. As you already know, like pistols are already one hits to the chest, etc. Um, I don't actually know how many bullets it takes for a p this pistol to take out a heavy, but the last time I've, I remember it take about I'd say about just the magazine and that alone. Now, moving on to the LMGs, I don't actually have a clip for this video, but I will tell you guys exactly what the name of it is, and I don't know where the whereabouts of or have any gameplay of it, so I'm just going to be running a clip in the background here. Basically, the, the best LMG in the game so far is the MK249. Now, the reason why I say this is because it has 150 bullets for, a very, high, for very high damage on it, and the, the the rate of fire, the accuracy, the handling, you can obviously, you can also change all that, all the accuracy, the damage, and etc. to every single weapon, but the base gun, and just as it is, it is an absolute monster, as all my friends tell me and everything else, and etc. like that. Now, moving on to the SMGs, just before the video ends, the, the best SMG I've seen so far is the MP7. It has basically max handling. The rate of fire is basically maxed. You can obviously put a foregrip on it to have more accuracy on it. It comes with a standard of 20 bullets. Now, that's actually not too bad because you can obviously put an extended clip, an extended clip in it and etc. Stuff like that. So yeah, um, that's basically the best uh, MP7 and the best light machine gun in the game. So if you guys did go on to enjoy this video and you want to see more content like this, then please hit that subscribe button. And also one thing before the video ends, I'm actually going to be putting up a video of how to make basically Blackbeard, Ash, and Rainbow Six Siege characters in general. So if you guys have any suggestions on what character you guys want to see, then please let me know down in the comment section down below and like this video if you guys do want to see that. So yeah, if you guys did go on to enjoy this video, uh, yeah, I, I guess I just hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys in the next one.